In this easy microwave recipe, condensed milk is cooked with sugar, butter, and vanilla till thick and then it's cooled on a mat and dusted with almond meal. Once completely cooled, it's thickened and dusted with more almond meal and then set into rubber molds. The finished product is set to dry overnight for that delicious fudge milk cream texture. Welcome back to Cravings Food Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed. I'm super excited today because I'm going to be sharing a recipe that I know you guys have been asking for. We're going to be making microwave milk cream. Yes, you heard me right. If you've made milk cream before or you've seen your mothers or your grandmothers make it, you know that making milk cream is a very tedious process. You have to literally stir and stir and stir the pot for hours. In this recipe, you're going to be making it in your microwave and it's going to take less than half the time and you can make batches and batches of this for your friends to enjoy. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure to ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get cooking. For this recipe, you need a microwave safe bowl and you need to make sure that it's much bigger than the quantity of the ingredients we're going to be putting in. I'm going to start with 400 ml of sweetened condensed milk and this is going to be scraped right into my bowl. Typically condensed milk cans here in Canada are about 300 ml so I've used a can and a bit. I'm going to scrape all of that goodness right into the bowl. Next, I'm going to add 100 grams of icing sugar. This is just short of a cup and I'm going to add this in and using a spatula or a spoon, I'm just going to mix it. I'm now going to take this bowl to my microwave and I'm going to set this on high for three minutes. In this part, the heated condensed milk will help absorb all of the icing sugar. Now I'm going to add 40 grams of butter. It doesn't matter if the butter is cold as the hot condensed milk will melt it quickly. I'm just going to mix this in. I'm also going to give everything a good scrape down and back into the microwave it goes. This time I'm going to set this on high for 2 minutes. As this heats, the liquid rises and you will now understand why I asked you to use a large bowl. It's now time to add the vanilla. I'm going to add in 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence and I'm going to mix it in. More microwave time. Let's cook this now for another two minutes. Even though the bowl is large and tall, you really need to keep an eye on it so it doesn't bubble over. After two minutes, I'm just going to give this a quick mix with my spatula. Look how thick this is already. Now I'm gonna set my timer for two more minutes. But if you smell any burning, stop the microwave immediately. At this point, the mixture is very thick and bubbly and it looks almost like a toffee. I'm just going to give this a chance to cool down. To proceed with the recipe, I have a silicone mat laid down and I've sprinkled some crushed nuts on the surface. You will need anywhere between a quarter to half a cup of almond meal, but you can also add ground cashew nuts if you prefer. The mixture is now semi-cool. I'm just going to scrape it on top of the silicone mat.
I'm going to sprinkle some almond meal on top as well and I'm just going to leave this alone for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I'm going to spread out the mixture more. If this sits in a clump, it will take forever to cool and set. Sprinkle this with more almond meal. There's a piece here that had fallen on the edge when I poured it out and I can see that this has already set. After about 30 minutes, I'm going to turn this over so there's no moisture on the underside and I'm going to sprinkle this with more almond meal and allow it to dry again for 30 minutes. I've allowed my mixture to set for a total of 1 hour and 30 minutes, but you have to adjust your time depending on the temperature and humidity of your kitchen. I'm now going to bring some icing sugar and my rubber molds and I'm also going to bring over another tray with a silicone mat. I get a lot of questions about these molds. These are specially made to make milk cream and marzipan. These were brought over from India. Some of them are hand-me-downs from my mom and some I purchased or were gifted. The gingerbread man is from the dollar store. It's a bit thin to work with but if you have patience it will work. Wilton and Amazon also have a series of chocolate molds that will work well. I'll pop a link to my Amazon store in the description. It's not totally necessary, but I like to dust the molds with icing sugar so they release easily. And of course, make sure to thoroughly wash your hands as you will be handling this with your hands. Grab some of the milk cream, roll it and press it into the mold. You have to make sure that you don't roll it too much or the heat from your hands will make them sticky and don't press it into the mold too tightly. There are many designs on the mold and I like to fill only a few at a time to make it easier to bend the mold and release it. Over the years I have my favorite designs so I'm going to pick and choose some great shapes for my milk cream. If you find any sticky bits just roll it lightly in the almond meal. This process should take about 30 to 60 minutes. Once done, you can certainly eat it, but I would highly recommend that you let this air dry for at least 24 hours before storing them in an airtight tin. Allowing them to air dry overnight really improves the texture of the milk cream. It's no longer chewy in the middle. This is perfect to serve with other sweet treats over the holidays. Enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me on Craving Sweet Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe and I hope you're going to run into your kitchen right now and make yourself a batch of microwave milk cream. It is absolutely delicious. Make sure you subscribe to my channel guys and also that you've rung the bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. And if you love my videos, share them with your family and friends so they can enjoy them as well. Also, be sure to follow me behind the scenes on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. Until I see you next time, do take care. Happy holidays. Bye.